I came from a textile degree background, so I have always been quite um, arty and quite creative. Me and my father decided to set up our own marbling business because I'd learnt these skills and I knew that they were quite rare skills to have and a craft that I enjoyed doing. So I decided to carry on really and so we had a um, workshop purpose built. Just kind of started making papers and building up a um, customer base really and it's kind of grown from there. We start off with the aluming, which is one of the most important stages. We're actually coating the paper with a solution of aluminium potassium. Without putting that on there, it would all wash off. From that stage, we actually then move to the marbling tray. Um, we have a liquid in there, which is a um, carrageen moss, which is an Irish seaweed. Then I create the pattern. Um, I'm using um, gouache paints mixed in a variety of different colours. These get flicked onto the surface, building up the pattern. Then we get to the part where we want to do the combing, and it's these that create the swirls. What we then want to do is add our um, piece of alum to paper, which has been sat under the press for about five minutes. And then I'm going to lay it down on top of the pattern that I've created. Then gently just lift the paper off the surface, and we'll find that the pattern that was on the carrageen size is now transferred to the paper. We just give it a good wash on both the front and the back. It helps to remove any of the residue size, which gets particularly dirty, and it just kind of gives it a nice, clean, crisp feel for when it's dry. This particular Shakespeare paper comes in a series of different colourways, the colour paper being the base paper that we're using and the colour paints that we actually use to make the pattern. These particular blue ones, these are the history papers, and today we've been working on um, Henry VI. Even though we might do a thousand sheets, they're one of a kind, that's part of the charm of having something that is kind of individual and handmade.